This video was produced entirely on Steam Deck. Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome back to Linux for Everyone and welcome home. Somehow, today marks my 15th anniversary on Twitter. So I'm taking a brief break from the Steam Deck coverage to shine a spotlight on a great app I found as a result of all my Steam Deck coverage. Because of my Steam Deck challenge where I'm using Valve's awesome handheld as my daily driver PC, I have been living a software diet rich in flat packs. And as someone who spends an admittedly inordinate amount of time on Twitter with multiple accounts, I don't really love the default Twitter web experience. More of a tweet deck man myself. This is why I've fallen in love with Modern Deck, an open source Electron app that makes for a more powerful, more customizable Twitter experience. Modern Deck is available on Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. And it's also an extension that you can add to browsers like Firefox, Chrome, and Edge. The Modern Deck GitHub page has instructions on building it from source for various platforms, but I just grabbed the flat pack from the KDE Discover Store. Regardless of what you're using, there's probably a download for it over at moderndeck.org. I'm a sucker for options, whether that's in video games or in my software, or in life or in anything really. I like having a lot of them and I like using them. That's one area where Modern Deck just wins out over TweetDeck. Just the sheer amount of flexibility you have over your Twitter experience. With TweetDeck, you're given some very minimal controls over content and appearance, but open up Modern Deck's settings panel and you can swap between five themes, a dozen accent colors, and a handful of fonts. And if that's not enough, you can just tailor it to your liking and add your own custom CSS. Beyond that, you can dial in the exact dimensions you want for column size, font size, and profile photo size. One thing I especially appreciate about this app is the ability to blur your direct message columns unless you hover over them. Obviously, that's ideal for making a video and for anyone who prefers to keep those private when they're working in a public environment. So Modern Deck and TweetDeck are very similar, but with Modern Deck, you get the same powerful filtering and overall experience that always makes me want to devote an entire screen to it. <laughs> but then it takes it up a notch with all these great tweaks to the formula, like enhanced customizations and privacy options. It's one of those apps I wished I had discovered years ago, and I get the feeling that it's still flying under the radar, so I just wanted to help bring some more visibility to it with this video. And hey, it gets a lot of bonus points for being available as a flat pack and being open source and being available on other platforms if that's where you wanna use it. If you decide to check out Modern Deck and you end up really loving it, make sure you give the developer a star over on the GitHub page. And if you enjoyed this video, toss a like to your YouTuber. That was really lame. Uh, anyway, if you know about a flat pack app that more people need to know about, Drop that name in the comments and I'll check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and take care of each other. See ya.